Today I'll be doing a teardown video of the 2021 MacBook Pro 16 inch. This one is an M1 Pro processor, 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 gigabyte SSD. All you'll need to do this is a screwdriver with a Penelope 1.2 bit and a spudger or a different plastic pry tool. To start, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you've turned the device off. Once it's off, you're gonna flip it over. Next, you're gonna remove the eight Penelope screws. Be careful not to mix up these screws as the back screws are longer than the front screws. Here's a back screw next to a front screw for a size comparison. Once you've removed all eight Torx screws, you're gonna remove the back cover. But before you remove the back cover, you need to know where the clips are. There's two clips right here that snap straight out, and then there's two clips in the back that slide out. So we're first gonna start by prying up the front and unhooking the two clips that pop out in the middle. To do that, I'm gonna use a spudger. Now to pop these two clips out, you're gonna pull up on the front of the case. That was one clip that just popped. Now we'll move on to this side and unpop that clip. Now both of these middle clips are popped out. Now that those two clips are popped out, you need to worry about these two clips. These two clips don't pop out straight. To get these two clips unlatched, you need to pick up the case and slide it forward. Now we have the back cover removed. That's the inside of the back cover. Once you've removed the back cover, before you touch anything inside, you're gonna wanna take a Torx T3 bit and you're gonna wanna disconnect the battery. So to disconnect the battery, you would unscrew these two screws. and then you'd remove this cap here. And then carefully with your spudger, you'd wanna pry up the battery connection terminal. It's best practice, so you don't cause a short, to bend this ribbon cable backwards. If it touches something else metal on the board, it could short something out, so you don't want that happening. Now that we've safely disconnected the battery terminal, we can take a closer look at the inside. Over here, you'll see a new six cell lithium polymer battery design. Right here, you'll see the redesigned speakers with spatial audio support. Right here's a symmetrical dual fan heat pipe covering the M1 Pro processor in this unit. My original goal for this video was to remove the heat pipe and take a closer look at the M1 Pro processor inside. On my previous gen, 2019 16-inch MacBook Pro, that was as simple as taking six to eight screws out of the heat pipe, lifting it up, and exposing the CPU. On this model, after taking a closer look, it appears to me that you have to remove all the screws and connectors surrounding the motherboard, take the motherboard out of the device to get to the M1 Pro processor. For today's video, I wanted to show you guys how to take the back cover off the device without damaging the device and to safely disconnect the battery so that you can service your device yourself. Not that there's much you can do on it. I won't be removing all 39 screws and 22 connectors in this video today, um, but I am curious to see what's inside 
And if enough of you guys are curious and enough of you guys comment and tell me that you want me to do it, um, I'll do it and I'll post a video of the entire teardown. For now, I'll reconnect the battery and show you guys how to properly reinstall the back case. To reconnect the battery, you're gonna push the terminal back on and then once you feel it click in, you'll put the housing on top and then you'll put this two little screws back in. Before we reinstall the back cover, I'll give you a closer look at the clips to see what we're dealing with here. These two clips in the middle snap into place. These two clips on the outside need to be slid into place. If you were to just try and put the cover back on without worrying about those two clips, the two back edges flare out completely. Install it you're gonna to wanna to press down on the back cover, bring the back edges about two millimeters from the back, and then you wanna try and slide them back in. See, I have this side done now. Okay, and then once you have both of those hinges popped in, you can snap the two middle ones back in, and then you can reinstall your screws with a 1.2 millimeter Penelope screwdriver bit. Make sure you use the long screws in the back and the short ones in the front. Now we'll verify that it turns on. And while it's turning on, we'll take a look at one of our products. This is our six in one USB-C hub. Super small, super lightweight, very powerful. This hub has 100 watts of USB-C pass-through power delivery, HDMI, and four USB type A ports. Not only that, but this hub's space gray design matches the new MacBooks, the old MacBooks, all the space gray MacBooks perfectly. That's gonna be it for this video. Our new hub is on sale right now for $17.99 and I'll leave a link to our Amazon store below. Um, if enough of you guys wanna see me tear down the whole device, Comment, subscribe, let me know, and I'll take every screw out of this device.